everyone welcome to my youtube channel and this is the second part of the cdl exam question and answers so let's get started what is the benefit of opex model for cloud security and the options are organization do not need to make upfront capital investment in cloud security organization do not need to configure any security for cloud resources organizations can deploy custom security hardware the cloud provider guarantees security and the answer is organization do not need to make upfront capital investment in cloud security let's move to the next question an organization has a large virtual machine where environment that they wants to migrate to the cloud they want to retain existing operational processes and tools which google cloud service should the organization use and the options are bare metal solution vmware spare google cloud vmware engine compute engine and the answer is google cloud vmware engine let's move to the next question an organization is planning to deploy a new workload to google cloud they need an accurate estimate of the likely cost of running the workload how should the organization create this estimate and the options are deploy workload to test environment to observe cost use historic cost of an existing similar workload use the google cloud pricing calculator refer to pricing information and manually calculate an estimate and the answer is use the google cloud pricing calculator let's move to the next question an organization has collected petabytes of historical data they need an advanced analysis solution that is fast scalable and fully managed which google product or service should the organization use and the options are firestore cloud sql bigquery cloud storage and the answer is bigquery let's move to the next question an organization wants to analyze data in a data warehouse how should they proceed and the options are copy unstructured data into a single large object store choose a system to store structured and semi structured data that supports adhoc analysis and custom reporting import data into a semi structured time series database ensure data is stored in structure label and supports transactional queries and relationship and the answer is choose a system to store structured and semi structured data that supports ADHOC analysis and custom reporting. Let's move to the next question. An organization need protection against distributed denial of service attacks. Which Google Cloud service should the organization use? And the options are Cloud Build, Security Command Center, Cloud VPN, Google Cloud Armor. And the answer is Google Cloud Armor. when is data automatically encrypted in google cloud data is not automatically encrypted by default when it is at rest only when it is at rest and transist when it is in transist only and the answer is when it is at rest and transist let's move to the next question an organization is concerned about the risks of data loss that may occur due to hardware failure of cyber attacks they want to restore their system to a previous state such as an event occurs what should the organization do and the options are set service level objectives enable auto scaling backup data regularly use cloud monitoring and the answer is backup data regularly let's move to the next question an organization is using compute engine and wants to receive sustained use discount what should the organization do and the options are nothing sustained use discount are automatically applied commit to virtual machine uses for one or three year period choose low powered virtual machines choose primitive or spot instances when creating virtual machines and the answer is nothing sustained use discount are automatically applied let's move to the next question an organization needs to store daily transactional data such as the customer record and purchase history 
the data follows a consistent schema and is cross reference which type of service should the organization use and the options are data lake data warehouse relational database non relational database and the answer is relational database let's move to the next question an information security organization must ensure that its service provider have ISO 27001 certification. They must also assess supporting documentation which Google Cloud tool should they use. And the options are Security Command Center, Network Intelligence Center, Compliance Report Manager, Cloud Monitoring. And the answer is Compliance Reports Manager. What is the benefit of Google's purpose built servers compared to standard servers? And the options are they run software that cannot be deployed on standard servers, they are cheaper to build than standard servers, they are optimized for specific tasks, making them more efficient, they are backward compatible with legacy disk drives. And the answer is they are optimized for specific tasks, making them more efficient. Let's move to the next question. When the organization has a large archive of unstructured data, including video and audio files, which storage solution should the organization use? And the options are Cloud Bigtable, Cloud SQL, Cloud Spanner, Cloud Storage. And the answer is Cloud Storage. Let's move to the next question. What is generative AI? The options are a specific field of AI that can be used to create content, an umbrella terms that includes all type of machine learning algorithms, a machine learning model for language translation, an AI model for labeling image. And the answer is a specific field of AI that can be used to create content. Let's move to the next question. An organization wants to build a data pipeline to transfer its data so it can be cleaned in a data warehouse. The solution must be scalable and require little or no management which Google product or service should the organization choose. The options are Cloud Storage, Data Flow, Cloud Bigtable, PubSub and the answer is Data Flow. And this was the last question. Thank you for watching this video guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Soon I will upload the part 3.